Okay, organizational management. We'll look at the concept of organizational management. We'll go into the uh, concepts and we'll also see the expert mode and we'll understand integrations and structures and we'll take an overview. So, um, organizational structure is basically where uh, the layout of the organization is basically established and it can differ based on geographical locations and operational requirements and nature of the organizational unit. So a corporate organizational unit can be like this, but a factory's organizational layout can be different. Okay. So, <clears throat> and then we have the time element, corporate structures work on a very different time pattern, scheduling pattern, and the factories work on a very different roadmap, time roadmap. Some factories, plants are working on a 24 hour rotation shift. Some all corporate offices, work on a 24 hour shift and this can be the models can be different hybrid or interchangeable mixed based on that of course your organizational structure will be will vary will be different will be separate from niche to niche from industry to industry okay and of course the depth will also depend on the nature of the organization, the industry of that organization. So organizational management to understand it, we have to apply and go by reverse engineering. Why reverse engineering? Because we have to understand why a person is placed in this position, in this job, and we have to work from bottom up and see how, and sometimes top down and sometimes it's bottom up, to see how processes are being followed, integrated, and implemented. It's not necessary that this is the only way, but we have to reach a consensus um uh, understanding of the components okay so this will actually tell us when we are clear on requirements we will have very clear roadmap for reporting structures and we will be able to integrate in four types which i mentioned in the last lecture is the heart and soul of SAP HCM. So organization structures basically are about objects, jobs, positions, and the relationship between these structures, these objects. And the structures and objects can communicate with each other based on what we have established as relationship, which is Manage, managing a position or a job or a department, or it describes an object or it reports to a different line manager or uh, organizational unit is subordinate. Reports to an is subordinate to is different because reporting means this is an executive job. It's subordinate to means it can be an outside job or a machine job or anything. Okay. So, um, managing can be managing a department, okay, or managing a team or managing a person. That can be the understanding here. And <clears throat> as I told you, plan versions are used uh, to describe the landscape of the companies, the clients, the customers you're going to work with, okay? So we'll be using the plan version because it's our server and in servers, there are various implementations done. 
So, uh, we will come across many object types that will include units like departments, like marketing department, production department, HR, finance, sales. These are units and their object keys are O. Jobs basically are the outline of the work that is required from the position because this is explaining what positions are for. Jobs explain what positions are for. So jobs actually tells you what to do and how to do. And positions are basically occupied by people, not jobs. Jobs is j the job description that is published in a job advertisement. You can That's how you can explain it. That it's called, it is symbolized by C. Positions basically is basically occupied by people, real people like HR officer, um, HR director, that is positions, okay? Cost centers basically captures the salaries, the expenses of that department, uh, in terms of salaries, commissions, and bonuses, those cost centers actually capture that. And persons, of course, persons are real persons. And these objects have relationship and they are interrelated. So, organization unit can be connected with the people and there will be a relationship. And this, if you look at it, is describing the job description, how to do and what to do in that very position. So the organizational unit basically can be spread out and the roadmap can be different. And that will describe how the structure will be established and designed. And those structures will also outline the tasks and functions. Okay. Organizational unit, let's see. Um, PO10. Until it opens, then we can continue. Okay, job, a general classifications. As I told you, these are explanations of tasks and fun functions an employee is required to do. So when creating an organi organizational plan, jobs help you to create positions. Okay. So job is manager. What is the manager supposed to do? Manager is supposed to lead the department or set the outline or dates or date deadlines or convene meetings, and of course, the JD. Job is JD, okay? So a general outline of the JD will be, of course, dev devised and defined. And when that position is, is occupied in purchasing by the manager, the purchasing JD will have its own set of functions Sales manager will have their own set of functions. And so will the HR manager. Okay. Position are specifications tied to organizational units and are held by individuals in your organization. Okay. Position are specific to your organization. Each position. Yeah. Specific means. Now, not every company is the same if compared to another company because their positions are different. A manager of sales will have a different area. While in the other company, the manager of sales will have a total different area of assignment and focus and the operations. The definition of operation for a sales manager will be different from the other company, right? So positions are specific to your organizational units. A position 
can be filled by more than one employee. Cost centers are basically, as I told you, capture the incurring costs of various departments. Okay. And these departments are linked with cost centers to record expenses. Okay. And each cost center can also have units reporting to it and registering costs, while a position can also be directly related with cost center. Okay. Persons are objects that hold positions within organization structure. Additional information for persons is maintained in personal administration. So, so what is personal administration? It contains personal information, organizational assignment, uh, working times, basic pay, addresses, and so on. These are info types in SAP. Okay. Info type is personal information, info type is organizational assignment. Okay. And this is how you, your organization staffing is done. Departments are outlined and defined. I think system has gone down. Anyways, as I told you, this is a short lecture. Staffing is done in this way where jobs and positions and persons are linked together. We will actually work on this very soon. So the relationships between each unit is basically defined by the relationship explained, like the unit belongs to uh, incorporate, sorry, the position and the position is occupied by this person. And this belongs to this cost center, work center. Okay. And the cost is allocated to this cost center and it incorporates this work center. Work center can be your department okay, or your production floor department. And a position is described by a job. Okay. And a job describes a position. A task is describing the job. Task means the duties describes the job. And job is described by task. And a task is, descri uh, is describing a position. So a task basically is superlative to job and position. And position described by task. So task is basically handled by someone superior. Okay. The tree structure, of course, can be different. It's not that this is a universal approach. No, it can be thin, linear, or deeper uh, structure we can actually establish for the companies and departments and factories and so on. So, root object can be your main company and the object can be your departments and these can be your uh, jobs and positions or work centers, cost center, whatever. The policy that you can adopt is either bottom up to know and understand the process or it can be top down. It can be driven top down to explain how these departments are laid out or it can be bottom up why this is done and supervised by this and this actually that comprises and incorporates this object okay so <clears throat> simple structure as we have seen in the last lecture we create an organizational unit okay like we have an administration department it will have a personal department it will have an hr development department we have a job and we have a position and of course the job is governed and driven by a task so a position is governed by jobs cost center drives or captures costs from position and organization at the same time see the object type can be like this is organization relationship is basically Describing or controlling O, oh, another object type. Okay. We will see relationship 002, 0308. We'll also see what actually this means. Okay. In the next lectures. All right. And if you talk about plans, organization plans can be, of course, um, laid out 
outside of SAP and inside of SAP, it can be a little different and separate. Okay. Organizational view in SAP can be made like this. Okay. It will look like this. While organization plan that will make ahead in the future, of course, will look like this, as simple as this. Okay. Object maintenances will also look at this. And of course, the function, uh, we have various function that we have. We have creation of uh, an object, of a role, of a job, of a position. We can change it with display it, overview. We can also overview it. Plus, we can copy it so it can replicate from department to department or from role to role. We can also delete an info type. Okay. We can delimit an info type. Why delimit? Because a role, a job, a position can be temporary for like a contractual nature or for some temporary event. So that's why we delimited it. Okay. Or for example, there is an ad hoc requirement for a project manager. A project manager role can also be delimited and it can be activated and deactivated. So that's